Here today's top stories. First, a pro-Trump Russiagate documentary is in the works from the daughter of a Hollywood legend. The Hollywood Reporter can exclusively reveal that Amanda Milius, daughter of legendary screenwriter and director John Milius and a State Department alum, has directed a doc titled The Plot Against the President. Based on Lee Smith's 2019 bestseller of the same name, she optioned the book in manuscript form last year. Russiagate critics interviewed for the Hush Hush doc include Congressman Devin Nunes, Donald Trump Jr., Kimberly Guilfoyle, Rudy Giuliani, and Roger Stone, among others. There was an illusion being created using the most awesome tools and the greatest tricks that the American intelligence community had learned to use against our enemies. Now it was being deployed against the American people and our president. The producers of the pro-Trump doc are currently in talks with a few distributors and are planning on an October 1st release in the run-up to the 2020 presidential election. The director's father, John Milius, is the screenwriter of such classics as Apocalypse Now and Dirty Harry. His politics have long deviated from the industry's centrist Democratic leanings. Next, three producers are out at The Ellen Show amid a Warner Media investigation into reports of a toxic workplace. THR's Neha Joy has more. A spokesperson for Warner Media confirmed Ed Glavin, Kevin Lehman, and Jonathan Norman have parted ways with the Ellen DeGeneres show as Warner Media continues to investigate the daytime show following allegations of a culture of fear, retaliation, and sexual harassment on the daytime talk show. DeGeneres announced the staffing changes in an all staff video Zoom call, where she also apologized again to staff for press reports about the show's toxic workplace. In the call, DeGeneres discussed being an introverted personality that likes to have her own space, which may have led to staffers believing she wasn't nice. As for her dedication to the staff, she said, I care about each and every one of you. I am grateful for each and every one of you. I feel like I've kind of let the ball drop a bit because I'm focused on the show. I go in and I do the show and I've just left everybody to do their jobs, to run different departments. And it just became a well-oiled machine. And I think that is the problem. It's not a machine, this is people. And LeBron James has revealed the Toon Squad uniforms for the upcoming coming Space Jam sequel in which he stars. Neha has more on that story too. On Monday, the NBA All-Star revealed the uniforms his Toon Squad will be wearing for Space Jam, a new legacy, and it's a whole new look. <laughs> Warner Brothers has Space Jam Legacy dated to open July 16th, 2021. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and click right over here for all the latest entertainment news. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.